There is a guy that someone sent me and I posted on the Discord for examination. After my examination in Greece, I wanted to do an examination video on things, important things to keep in mind before you test or during your test. This guy actually came out pretty handy because a lot of those things are already written there. All of those things I think are written there. And I wanted to share that with you. I'll do this, maybe in the future I'll do a video or like demonstrate myself how to do some of these things. I think for now this is going to be good. Your presentation for the test. Your uniform should be looking sharp. You should be looking nice. I try to look for the best uniform that I have that it doesn't look dirty or worn out, whatever, make sure I wash it. And if I have to like re-dye it for some reason, I'll do it. The hemos definitely should be symmetrical. The dough should be should be straight. You see it sometimes that you put like one of the strings a little bit higher than the other and like it does like a little bit of a tilt. You wanna avoid that type of things. You wanna make sure that your dough, it's looking straight, nice, at appropriate height, not too high, not too low, just to make sure that everything looks good. I think this is important and I think judges, even in competitions, judges start making an assumption of your level based on how you wear your uniform. These are the very little details that I think makes the grade a little bit higher. Just by the way that people wear their uniform, you can see their level a little bit. Hairs at the bottom of the hakama. Okay, I thought that was a given, but yes, that's very important. That's why I was kind of mentioning you don't want to have a uniform that's all worn out and, uh, you know, looking bad. I feel like a lot of people do not pay attention to the to the back and sometimes they have all this, like the backside, all wrinkle and like not really uniform and stretched out. Uh, that's something that for me was a big point during my test to make sure that my, my uniform was properly worn, not just like wrinkled and pushed by the hakama. The sleeve long enough to cover the elbows. In my test, I was actually I was actually struggling with this one because I have long arms. And for some reason, like a lot of the kendogis that I have bought, they're very short. They still cover my elbows, but they're too close to the elbows. So I was afraid that that was gonna be a problem. But I, thankfully, I found a kendogi that I think was a little bit too big for me. You know, it worked. The koshita should be above the tare himo. I actually seen this happen where the himo goes above when you don't tie the tare correctly. Especially like if you bend over to grab something in those type of motions i seen the the, the himo go up and the do himo hanging horizontally on equal lengths guys all himos all himo should be tied on equal lengths just so you guys know whenever you do you know the knot you want to make sure they're horizontal and they are equal some people like to wear this very loose i like to wear it a little bit tighter so just like this one i ha i don't see it often for people to make it very tight i don't think ne nobody wears it very tight but i normally see people wearing it looser than than this for me i like it i like it to be like this if your hemo are too long especially for the men i do want to make a video about that if your hemo are too long please don't be scared of cutting them and making the appropriate length uh, especially for the men you don't want the hemo to be like way too low where it takes you too long to tie your hemo it just moves around it sometimes it like blinks around like it gets into the mat you want to avoid all that the color of the kendogi should be sticking to the back of the neck the way that people when i when i started kendo told it to me like my senseis and, and my senpais were like think about it like it's a suit you're wearing a suit not just sports clothes again no holes or tears on the on the cuffs a hakama should be dropping downwards from the from the front and rising up from the back this type of angle right so you don't want the hakama to be horizontal first of all because the back side is going to be slightly higher another thing is that you want to make sure that from the front side you're covering your feet you're hiding your feet here you don't want this touching the floor when you're standing normally but you also don't want this to be up too high showing your ankles okay when you're meant this one is the trickiest one because we by the men most of the time stuck so when the men is stuck not always you're gonna get this spacing right in front of your eyes sometimes it's slightly low sometimes slightly back one of the things that you want to make sure to help you the the, the bigger gap in front of you is to make sure you tie the knot right behind your eyes uh, Augusto you have some problems with the blood flow in your arms when you take too long to tie your men your arms start feeling weird so that's also a point to have in in mind okay so yeah as a matter of fact this is and this is my thing i always try to be the first one to be done putting his man on especially when you go to events you want to make sure that you're quick so you can go practice with the sensei that you want to practice first if you don't put your man on quick you're not going to be the first person yeah you want to do everything like having the prop appropriate length of the of the man himo on your men so that way you can properly put your men on quick I, i'm talking too much your eyes should be positioned to see clearly between the six or seven bar of the man gane from the top spot where the man it's a bit wide the wider gap you want to make sure that it's in front of your eyes obviously because it's going to make it easier for you to to see this also has to do with wearing the men properly when it's not i should do this with the men right so if you see 
and this man is like it's so like it, it has not aged well there's one that is going to be wider and you want to make sure that when you when you put that on it's like right in front of your eye so your eyes should be behind this and if you're not wearing it properly you see like it's not going to be in front so your, your man's going to be tilted or the opposite way is going to be tilted doesn't look good it's gonna make you look like you're not standing correctly even if you are so you want to make sure that you put this properly and that fits as as good as possible your men feel as good as possible i think what i'm gonna do from now on is whenever i buy a man just make sure that i save up i don't know if you guys know but like shogun kendogu makes kendo equipment to order it's machine made so that way it's cheaper but it's to order so that way you get the proper fitting when i'm gonna get a man and kote i'm definitely gonna get them custom made because it's just for the men the monomy it's so 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 important and for the kote just because like they fit they fit nicely from the first day so that's my that's my thing and i'm not saying this because i'm not getting any type of compensation but i really love shogun kendogu they, they make really good equipment and they have a three-year warranty so i always you know I, I have full confidence on on the equipment that they sell both men himo should be lined together the men himo the knot should be right at the same size same spot of the island level and you know it should be you want to make sure that this is straight you don't want this crooked the length should be within 40 centimeters so the length of the hemo the knot the the excess hemo the loop and the extra hemo should not pass the 40 centimeter i have a video in my channel where you can see how to tie the end so that way like they don't fray out you should make sure that your men hemo after you tie it is within 40 centimeters long and both of them should be at the same length you know this always happens like this happens to mine now you can see my mouse so you see this this happens often and sometimes like I, at the beginning i was like stressing about like oh this is not perfect but like you know like it's it's, it's so minimal okay so common mistakes the dough weren't too high okay this looks Looks funny you know he looks like like one of those like cartoon guys like puffing up this chest and the hakama is rising up from the front i wish you guys could see what this looks like from a little bit far instead of so close because it looks funny the koshita uh, because the color scheme is not is not easy to see but koshita is not situated above the tarehimo so uh, it, it just looks bad mehimo not is tied too low so yeah people think that that because you tie it too low it's going to help you keep the men on the result is this you see the the monomi goes goes lower it can also like you're not standing you're not standing straight also the tenogui here is you know flying out you want to make sure you tuck this in you don't want all this out here the kotehimo is dangling down so yeah you want to make sure that your himo you know is not too long so mine like you know mine is like this even even this right now is bothering me this is not hard this is not hard to solve i don't have my tape here but what what you do is just make the knot you see like if this if this is too long just make the knot if you still have excess you can use first you put packing tape around the himo then you cut it you end up with this and not a problem augusto you're saying that you can have the main himo shorter yeah it has to be with thin 40 centimeters shorter that's 40 centimeters it cannot exceed 40 centimeters keep in mind that when you cut the hemo the hemo is braided and when you unbraid it it also stretches a little bit so you always end up you try to cut a little bit below the 40 centimeters if you want to preserve as much hemo as possible 